Hey friends, like many of you, we're experiencing a lot of uncertainty and a huge loss of work during this time. With such a swift and drastic change to our everyday life, things can seem a little helpless, but that doesn't mean there's nothing you can do as a freelancer to put yourself in a better position now and also prepare for when things start returning back to normal. To be clear, we're not promising this period will be easy, but if you're not sure what to do next, here are a few strategies that we're implementing that you should as well. We also want to hear how you are doing, so if you have any tips or just want to say hi, drop them in the comments below. Let's get started. Re-engage your clients. If you're experiencing a sudden loss of work but are still able to provide your services from home, we recommend re-engaging your clients and let them know what services you're offering and how you can help them during this time. A simple email letting them know what your situation is and how you can help while safely isolating, of course, is all it takes. In the midst of all this uncertainty, your clients will now know that you're available and willing to work. Even if they don't have something right now, in the future, you'll be top of mind. Tweak your offering. A lot of our work is about being on site, collaborating with others. So freelancers like us are particularly hard hit. Consider what kind of services you can offer remotely to your clients and tweak your offering accordingly. As a content creator, you can offer to edit for other creatives, such as videos and podcasts. As a graphic designer, you can make templates and help clients manage all the new communications they require. And as a photographer, you can sell stock photos or art prints. These are just a few quick ideas, so get creative and think about how you can reposition your skills to the changing needs of your clients. Get up to speed. This is a great opportunity to catch up on some important long-term tasks that you've probably been putting off. This could mean updating your website, publishing a blog post with some recent work, or backing up those files. Seriously, if you haven't backed up your files, it's really, really important, and we made a video telling you exactly how to do it. You have no excuse. So sit down and make a list of all the busy work you have piling up. You don't have to do it all at once, but knock out a couple things every single week, and your business will be in tip-top shape for when you ramp back up to full speed. Develop a secondary income stream. This is pretty simple. Find something you can do to make money online. We always encourage you to find new income streams, and right now is the perfect time to start. Think of your many talents and interests and ask yourself what would be useful to people during this time. You can create printable coloring books, educational activities for kids, share your skills through an online course, or even do one-on-one -on -one cooking consulting to help people make delicious meals at home. We don't know if this is a thing yet, but you could be the one to start it. Level up your skills. Listen. You can't binge watch Netflix all day long, so now's the time to do an online workshop, knock out some tutorials, or finally read that business book that you've been putting off for years. A lot of companies are offering discounted courses and software right now. We've linked a few of our favorites down in the description below. You can learn a new technique in Photoshop, whip up some cool transitions in Premiere, or if you're a real keener, you can learn a whole new Adobe program. Alternatively, expand past your field and take a course on a personal interest like making music, learning digital illustration, graphic design, or hey, maybe learn some magic tricks. Business books especially can provide further insight into how to find customers and sell your offering, something that's really important right now. If you're not sure where to start, check out this recent video we made about must-read books for creatives. I hope these strategies give you some options to get moving and feeling productive. It's important to keep in mind that this will end and you'll reap the rewards of all the work that you put in now. The ones who are ready to go, eager and positive, will be the ones who hit the ground running and bounce back the fastest. Let us know how you're coping, and if you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below. You don't have to do this alone, we can solve these problems together. We'll be posting more videos to help you through this time, so make sure you're subscribed to our channel. If you found this video at all helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. Thanks a lot for watching, stay strong, stay isolated.